All right, we got a real short one for you today. This is the uh, axle vent off of my uh, truck. As you can see, it's pretty well clogged here. Um, I did replace it. Unfortunately, I, don't, I didn't uh, shoot this video before I uh, before I put the new one on. Um, but what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to take a hacksaw and go right across the top here. And we'll pull this open and we'll take a look at what's going on inside. So uh, I'll saw it open off camera. You don't need to see me fumble around with a saw. You can see this is definitely, most definitely clogged. So I'll cut off the top and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so... We're in here, it looks like a little uh, little rubber seal of some sort. Now this should be acting as some sort of check valve. On the new one, this metal piece up here is loose, like it floats a little bit and then it's pinched in to retain so it doesn't come off. And that's the, the cap there. Man, this thing is completely Okay, let's see if we can get in here. So, one thing I don't understand is why they don't make these out of some sort of material that doesn't corrode like this. I mean, geez, just look at this. I mean, I guess the metal itself... Well, you know what? The metal itself is not really corroded, but it seems like whatever was inside here is pretty corroded so I am getting up through there so I think all that's going on here or normally would be going on here is this little guy sits on top here and uh, it's embedded in the top of this little cap. This cap would normally kind of walk around on top and that just acts as the check valve. So it just pushes up on this cap. It's pinched in on the sides as you can see to retain it. And that's it. Pretty simple device. Now I wonder why they can't make it out of a slightly better material because it certainly looks like... Yeah, I mean this thing welded itself together. It just rusted and completely welded itself together. So it would be nice if they made it out of something that would uh, would not do that, like uh, just stainless steel or something. And I guess we can check and see. Yeah, that's definitely not stainless. Not even close to being stainless. That's just regular steel. This piece, oh yeah. Yeah, that's highly magnetic. So it's just kind of a galvanized steel. So, I mean, this kind of failure is just bound to happen. Um, kind of wondering how hard it might be just to make one of these out of stainless. Might not be the most complicated thing in the world. Get a bolt that's the right size. Eh, I'll have to think about that. But anyway, there you go.